Hi, welcome to Real Magic Review. I'm going to talk about something that has changed everything for me. This is the 20 HDD half dollar dropper from Hansen Chen Magic and Ochu Studios. Before we do this, very briefly, do after this, or pause it now, have a look at onlinemagic.co. That's my membership site, as Rory Adams says, him consultant to the stars. Uh, he reckons I'm one of the best magic teachers in the world right now, so you can get all that for 9 99 He did actually say, I'm sure you won't mind me sharing, uh, that he said it's nuts what people get, the value that people get from uh, my online course, because it's been going 10 years and there's no hundreds of videos on it. So have a look at that, onlinemagic.co. And, uh, and that'd be lovely. And like and subscribe if you like it and you want to subscribe to it. So this is a coin dropper. I've been using coin droppers for a long time. I've lectured about them. I've talked about them. The coin droppers I've been using are very cheap. They cost me about like four bucks each. They're like little cradles and you kind of you put them on your jacket and, and they kind of hang there. And I love them. Problem with them is I have to start every show with them because you can't move around that much. I've learned to be a bit confident with them, but they are literally, you got to, I've got 40 half dollars in these cradles and one big knock and they go all over the stage which they have done in the past which was oh so much good fun so i've been looking for something that has worked and this came out and i said please send me one because i'll be able to use it straight away and it is glorious for a number of reasons now i've already done the jumbo coin dropper brilliant uh the sponge ball dropper brilliant all of them solve a problem but this for me is great because one reason is because I've got twenty half dollars not on my jacket, so I don't have to repin them if I change my jacket and put safety pins in. I don't like using safety pins. I've done it for ages, but they they never feel quite stable, like they could slip, and I don't like doing that to a jacket. This goes this goes on the belt. It is also contained. It contains the coins. So if you imagine, you know, twenty half dollars. Oh, you know what half dollars look like. I'm not going to show you twenty half dollars, but there's loads of them, right? And you can walk you can do anything at all until the time comes and that is so useful for me the way it releases is also great it takes a bit of getting used to and i'll talk about that in a minute but it's all very solid it's beautifully made it sits there it doesn't clatter around at all and you've got 20 half dollars to get into play whenever you want with or without sleeves a jacket, some sort of cover would be great, unless you're doing it for video like I did in a t-shirt, it's fine. Or on, you can do it on stage with a t-shirt as long as you don't swizzle around. But the way they are, the, the coins come out, is fairly slow. And I like that. What doesn't happen is it does go and just sort of drop them all straight away. Now, some of you might think I need to grab them quickly. You don't. This is the thing. The slower you are, the better they are. The more deliberate, you know, quick hand movements attract attention. And when I say slow, it's not too slow, but it just kind of drops them gently into your hands, which I really, really like. But as I said, why would you want to use them? So the Miser's Dream is the classic one. I do a Miser's Dream routine on the street. I uploaded a thing today because I sort of cut together some street clips. And again, I'm using the droppers in those clips that I always use, which means I always have to open the show with them whether I liked it or not, and then go on to the juggling. I actually like doing the juggling first. So it doesn't sound like much, but it's a big thing. But when I was doing that gig in Portugal, which you didn't see, a couple of times I, I was doing the Miser's Dream, but I couldn't do it because other people were doing different versions of it. And I didn't want to do that thing of, oh, you know, I'm going to come and go on after you and, or before you with the Miser's Dream. So I did a kind of version of the Miser's Dream without the bucket. And I improvised it. I was like, what am I going to do now? And I, I would do some coin, you know, appearances out of a kid's ear and all that. Absolutely loved it. And then I would grab the coins and the last one from the kid's ear was like 10, 20 coins. It sounds like such a simple thing. The beautiful thing, the misdirection is all built in because you're pulling the coin out. So you've got loads of time and the reaction was way more than I thought. It was so lovely not to have the bucket. I love using the bucket, but just to be able to do that, you, you know, to, it, 20 coins up because they're, they're delighted, the audience are delighted, and it's a really nice thing. And then I thought, close up, of course. It's very hard to find a finish to a close up coin routine. Yes, you've got jumbo coin, coin on hand, all that stuff. But again, you know, doing a coin vanished appearance, grabbing a coin from the air, doing this, and you've got 20 coins is a brilliant thing. So there are so many uses for this. And in the tutorial, they go into the Miser's Dream, they teach a really 
good right miser's dream routine which is really really useful they go in detail about the handling there's more to this than you think as well because it's adjustable which is really important you can adjust it within three centimeters up or down for people of different heights and jacket heights and things like that you can also do it left-handed or right-handed so he said he grabs right-handed uh, I am right-handed, but I grab left-handed because I like to grab like this as I'm kind of misdirecting and getting them into this hand to put in the bucket. So everything about it is brilliant. I'm delighted. I've asked them to send me another one and do me a deal on another one because I want to do two lots. I'm really excited about this. I spent all day playing with it. Because it's so easy, it's easy to put it on and go, oh, I can do it now. But I would say I sat there with me on the floor with my coins with some music on and really got to know it and actually it made a big difference because things were getting hung up and it was actually actually my fault it was complete user error so if you get anything like this it's simplicity will make you think you can just go out and do it now you will be able to very quickly but i would say sit with it learn the mechanism and like the jumbo coin dropper you know i got that and i thought oh, i can do it straight away and i realized that i hadn't practiced with it and actually the shape of your body comes into it. So you've just got to learn the feel of it. And after a little while, you've got it straight away. So love it, love it, love it. Um, $20.50 dropper. They're coming out with some really good stuff. It's amazing. For years I've researched coin and ball droppers and there's very, very little on the market. So this really is this black holder series. They've got more coming out, which I, I hopefully will get to review. Ball dropper I'm so looking forward to. Um, and it can really transform your coin magic. So it's well made it's going to last you uh, it looks great it's very it conceals very well on your belt and is very versatile so uh, thanks for sending me that i'm going to use it constantly and uh, any questions you've got i would have missed loads out because it's a load of a waffle in it but put comments below and i will answer them and if i don't email me steve at onlinemagic.co and hassle me and uh, i will as i said answer all comments you've got so go and have a look at that. Have a look at onlinemagic.co. You can have a good old look at what this looks like on the links below. Uh, follow me on Instagram at Steve Faulkner and uh, the podcast Steve Faulkner's Magic Show. And I haven't done one in a while, but they, there's, there's stuff coming out soon. And, uh, and anything else, TikTok is S-T-E Faulkner, Steve Faulkner. And you know where to find me. Give me a search. Have a great one. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you for your continued support. It's such a lovely community and, uh, and I'm very proud of it. Have a good one. Cheers.